Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. Rob has the night off. Only on two, a Thanksgiving message to all parents from a mother in Indiana. 22 year old Lindsay Kessling died more than eight years ago in an apartment with no carbon monoxide detector. CBS 2's Megan Hickey is digging into how Indiana is one of the few states in the country that still doesn't require those detectors. She's live now in the newsroom tonight. Megan. Erica, Indiana is one of just four states that has no statewide requirement for carbon monoxide detectors, and one grieving mother tells me she won't stop fighting until it's law. Dot Kessling has had eight years to mull over the excruciating details. She was 22 and had just graduated from Indiana University. Her vibrant young daughter, who had a lifetime ahead of her, died in her sleep in November 2010 after fumes from her running car filled her apartment with a fatal level of carbon monoxide. Kessling didn't have a CO detector, but her mother tells me she knows for a fact. If there was a carbon monoxide um, alarm in her home, she would still be here with us. Kessling's home state didn't have any requirements for an alarm, and to this day, it still doesn't. And it's not for lack of trying. State Senator Mike Bohacek spoke to me from the Indiana State House. He's the author of a recent bill requiring CO detectors in single and multifamily residential construction. Unfortunately, it did not get a hearing in 2017. He says in part because of pushback from local builders in Indiana who considered the requirement burdensome. And that was kind of the resistance that I was feeling. But Kessling believes that if 46 other states are able to make it law, Indiana should too. That is right, that is reasonable, and that is life-saving. And that is not too much to ask from our legislators and our decision makers. Bohacek said he will continue so. fighting this time as Indiana moves to adopt the 2018 International Building Code. He's pushing to keep a carbon monoxide detector requirement in the language of that code. Kessling tells me she won't give up until it's law. Now, Kessling's foundation has a partnership with Aurora-based First Alert, which has helped them donate thousands of carbon monoxide detectors across the state since 2013. Live in the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS2 News. Erica? Okay, thank you, Megan.